Innsbruck's worth a quick look, but I prefer a smaller town with fewer tourists. Tonight, we're sleeping five miles downstream in the town named Hall in Tyrol. Even before the time of the Habsburgs, Hall was an important trading city. Back then, its medieval center was actually larger than Innsbruck's. Today's laid-back hall cradles its market square. Its pastel buildings and quaint streets feel refreshingly traditional. Actually, too traditional if you're trying to accomplish anything more than a leisurely lunch from noon till two, when everything closes. During the Habsburg rule, Hall's Castle served as the local mint. Old-time methods are still used here to strike shiny souvenir coins. 500 years ago, this was how you made money. The town's name, Hall, means salt. Hall was so important because it was a center of salt mining and trade. In the past, salt was mined like a precious mineral. It was so valuable because before modern refrigeration, it was used to preserve food. Salt helped people survive the winters. That's why they called it white gold. Back when salt was money, Hall was loaded. Its seal features a barrel of salt. The town's elegant architecture and rich church made it clear that in its day, Hall was a local powerhouse. While the church's structure is mostly 15th century Gothic, the decor inside is 17th century Baroque. And with a close look, you can see the wealth was founded on salt. Miners generated the wealth that paid for the lavish altars, extravagant starbursts, and this statue of the miner's patron, Saint Barbara. And even the little cupids carry barrels of salt. <laughs>